A Lubbock murder case gone cold for nearly 50 years has piqued the interest of a pair of investigators determined to finally solve it. KCBD News Channel 11's Blair Sable joins us to explain why they think there's a good chance to do that despite the time gone by. Blair? Well, Karen and Abner, as you may already know, cold cases are notoriously difficult to solve. This one is about Deborah Sue Williamson, and I have her picture here. In 1975, she was a newlywed, and on the night of August 24th, she was planning on visiting her husband at work to help out. But instead, she was stabbed 17 times at her home. Even though it's been decades, this new team believes that they can crack this case open because they have an advantage that police don't, and they've got a proven track record. It's her turn for justice. Every year that passes by is another year that Debbie Sue Williamson's case goes unsolved. Tuesday was the 46th anniversary of her brutal murder. But for her sister Elizabeth Flat, the pain is as fresh as it was in 1975. It can be very hard and challenging. Today's been very hard. For the past five years, she's come back to Lubbock to visit with police for updates. And I will always be her voice. This time, she didn't come alone. Joined by her stepsister, Paula Chasse, and two private investigators that are now on the case. A person who has been murdered deserves justice, no matter if it's been one day or if it's been 100 years. We believe that this case is solvable. The Cold Case Investigative Team, a partnership between investigative journalist George Jared and criminal justice professor Jennifer Buchholz, volunteered to take this one on, giving newfound strength and comfort for Williamson's family. I really felt like it would be, you know, the more they looked into it, they'd just back off like, oof, this is rough. They've been relentless. Jared and Buchholz recently helped uncover information that led to an arrest in a cold case murder of Rebecca Gould in Arkansas, using crowdsourcing on Facebook to their advantage. They say the accused, William Miller, was an active member of that group. One girl from Lubbock, Texas, that was working with us she honed in on the guy that ended up getting arrested long before any of us. She really honed in on him, and it was because she was studying genealogy. And the cards started falling in place because then we got a tip that he had been in Arkansas the weekend of Rebecca's murder, which nobody knew. And they're entirely confident this time that they can find that one key missing detail that finally closes the case. I do not believe anybody who murdered somebody 46 years ago has not told someone. So one of our goals is to find that someone who knows something about this case. I'm not going to give up. She deserves it. We deserve it. And a lot of innocent people that have been considered a possibility of being the one that killed her deserves it. And the team is once again using Facebook to help find those crucial details. If you want to be part of the community, you can request to join the page called The Unsolved Murder of Deborah Sue Williamson. We're also told that the team, along with the family, has met with police this week, and the department has promised to take another look at the evidence. Karen and Abner. Thank you, Blair.